Hello, my name is Logan, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pokemon Infinite Fusion for the Windows PC. First, we want to open up an internet browser and search for Pokemon Infinite Fusion. We want to make sure we're clicking on the link that is coming from PokeCommunity.com. This is the official website for the game. From here, we're going to scroll down. And where it says download, we are going to click this link. Now the file we want is infinitefusion.zip, not infinitefusionpatch.zip. This is for people who already downloaded the game and want the newest version. Over here, we're going to left click the options menu, hover over download, and left click standard download. This will take a while. So I do recommend downloading one other thing. I'm going to close this tab as I already have the game and I don't want it to download another file. This game has a ton of custom sprites, but we want more. So on their official discord, in their download section, they have a link where you can download all their sprite packs. And once you do this, you can come back every month and just download the new stuff. So I highly recommend clicking on this link and just downloading it. So once these two files are done downloading, I do recommend creating a new folder. I have created a folder called Pokemon. I would cut and paste the two files into this new folder that you have created. The next step is extraction. We want to extract infinitefusion.zip first. Depending on what software you have, you may have good luck or bad luck. I recommend just trying out whatever is built into your computer first. So usually you're just going to right click and hit extract all. And by default, it should be in the folder you created. Now, I didn't have any luck with what is built into Windows 11. I have WinRAR which if I right click and do open with and hit WinRAR, it will look like this. And I'm going to click extract to, and by default, again, it's extracting to the folder I created. And then you would just hit okay. So when the game has finally been extracted, we want to extract the sprite packs. For me, I'm going to right click, go to open with and WinRAR. And now for you, it may just be as simple as double clicking the file and going through the process. But here inside WinRAR, I do want to go inside this folder and I am going to left click custom battlers and hold shift and then click unfused icons. I want to extract these folders and not the sprite packs folder that we can see up here. So we're going to click extract two, and then we're going to go to our Pokemon folder. And inside we want to hit graphics and hit okay. This window should pop up and we want to hit yes to all. This will start the extraction process and it will take a while. So again, have some patience. So once the sprite packs have finished extracting, we can go into the infinite fusion folder. And all you have to do now is double click game.exe. Now this window will stay here for quite a while. As you can tell, there are a ton of sprites that it needs to load. So I would leave this window open and maybe go grab a beverage or watch one of our YouTube videos to kill some time. After a handful of minutes, we can finally play Pokemon Infinite Fusion. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will get to them as soon as possible and try to help you in any way. If you follow this tutorial and you found success, please leave a like or even subscribe. 
We really appreciate it, and I hope all of you can enjoy Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye!